So today we're going to talk about this particular organizational system. What I did was I got tired of having all of my craft and cookie and cake items being in every single drawer in the kitchen and around in the closet that I'll show you in a little bit and in cupboards and boxes. So I tried to put as much of it as possible in one place. So we're going to go through today. We're going to reorganize this. We're going to tell you why I made the choices that I made and what I did to help optimize the organization in the kitchen of my craft and cookie and cake tools. So here we go. It's fun. So basically up here, as you can see, I have a number of books and I've got a number of books here. I do have books in other areas, but we're going to take those books out shortly. I'm going to talk about these drawers and why I chose these particular drawers. I'm going to talk about this um, system I chose for organizing the little bits of color. Uh, I'm going to talk about why I chose these particular bins here and here and um, down here as well. So basically here we have a number of books and drawers and all sorts of things as well as um, organization on top. So the first thing I did here was I got a bookcase. This particular bookcase here have, was in our basement and uh, during the days of plague in early March, uh, we moved this bookcase and its companion bookcase from the basement up here to help me with organization for here and sort of a pandemic pantry, as it were, around the corner. Um, If this plague ever leaves us, the pandemic pantry one will turn into a companion for this. So we'll have even more space in here to organize the craft cookie and cake supplies. So over here, we've got a number of books that I'm going to take down for you here. Absolutely wonderful book here. Our cook's baking book. We have here our wonderful book, The New Pie by my friend Chris Taylor and husband Paul absolutely wonderful and then over here I've got the productive cookie my 18 month planner by Jackie Heavey absolutely astounding it's got all sorts of great things in it to help you organize your cookie orders over here as a companion to that I have my sketchbook in my sketchbook I put all of the sketches for my upcoming designs and we'll talk about that in another video. Over here, I've got my regular 2020 planner that has um, dates and that sort of thing. And then I've got some wonderful books here by George Ann Bell. Great book, The Cookie Companion. And of course, the popcorn book that she also wrote. Absolutely wonderful books. I've got here The Cookie Swap from Julia Usher. Absolutely wonderful book. And then over here, a few others, The Perfect Finish, Book from the Cake Boss, Kids Cakes, all very nice as well. And then up here, one of my Wilton reference books, a lovely book from Amber Spiegel, Cookie Art, highly recommend. And of course, um, How to Host Cookie Decorating Classes from Ann York. We're going to also uh, attempt to do this without too much interruption from Cat 1 and Cat 2 here. We have Willa wandering around as well as Tigger. So they may make some surprise guest appearances. So we've got almost all of our books cleared out here. Um, one of the ones I did uh, think is great is the Ann York How to Host an Online Cookie Decorating Class. Wonderful book. So all of our books are all taken out. And the books do a great job in holding everything into place here. Um, so we're going to put those books back in a moment. We're going to talk about the other items that I have here. Um, what I do have are three large boxes of bags that I put my cookies in before I sell them. Um, they're all from Paper Mart. I use a large 5x10, a 4x6 and um, a two by eight bag, similar to a pretzel bag. 
So by just having three sizes of bags, that helps me cut down on the amount of paper. Um, what I have here are a number of bins that I purchased at Dollar Tree. I went around, uh, looked online, looked at a number of stores, looked at Target, Walmart, um, looked online at the container store, a lot of different places, and decided that the ones at the Dollar Tree mostly tended to work best for me and my system here. Um, what is kind of cool about them is you can write on them with a dry erase marker. Um, the downside of that is that it does wipe off on your hand if you aren't careful in handling them. So I'm going to take those down and uh, show you what I happen to put in these bins and we can reorganize them and put them back together. In our first bin here I have all of these bags and these are my cookie decorating bags, my piping bags and I get them from a number of different places, um, Artie Magoo, online, the Flower Box Bakery online, and a few other online sources, Bees Baked Art, um, and they work really well for me. So I put them in a bin here. My next bin over, I have my cookie decorating colors in the large um, bottles here. I used to have them in other bins, and I thought that just one bin is great. Most of mine are either a Maricolor brand or Chef Master brand. My next uh, bin over here has all of my Nada cookies. Nada cookies are a wonderful, wonderful tool for, there you go, Nada cookie at notacookie.com and they're absolutely wonderful tool as a practice surface when you're just practicing decorating a cookie and on the other side here it works as a really nice well for holding sprinkles or water or something like that if you need that and then the other thing i happen to have in this bin is a small grater which acts as my microplane when I'm trying to even up or level off a cookie. And then my last bin over here at the moment holds my um, airbrush, the Pegasus airbrush, and my stencil genie tool for airbrushing. When I had originally looked at this bookcase and tried to figure out a way to organize it, I had thought potentially that I could put a separate shelf across here and I could put these on the separate shelf. That really didn't work out for me, but that might work out for your system here. Um, what I suggest you do is go and buy a couple of containers, do a lot of measuring, and decide what system works for the items that you happen to have. On our next shelf down here, I currently have the Cookie Bridge by LC Sweets. Great tool. I'll show another video on how, to, how I use that. I also have my spare cookie decorating tripod. And I've got another tripod in here. My first bin over here contains all of my molds for cookie and cake decorating, my fondant molds, as well as a couple of extra stamps, my extra Wilton molds. All of my molds are in here. My next bin over has some more of my technology, like my voice amplifier, my pointer, all of those sorts of items. My next bin over here has my cookie decorating colors. These ones up here are primarily my airbrush colors. Here are primarily my uh, larger bins of the cookie decorating colors. Once again, mostly by Maricolor, some by Chef Master, uh, some by Artisan Accents. And at the moment, my last bin over here contains some cookie cutters themselves that are waiting to be put away in my basement storage. So down on our bottom shelf here, what I did was I explored a whole bunch of different bins and I really haven't decided on the perfect bin for the bottom shelf here. So I do have a number of miscellaneous items and maybe I can work out how to 
solve everything here and where to put everything down here. But here I've got a great container here that I got from a cookie retreat that um, I filled with a lot of my royal icing transfers. So it's dried royal icing and a couple of sprinkles here, uh, like bunnies that I did for a particular project, and those are some leftover ones. Got some wheels that I did for a, another project, a bunch of uh, flowers, sprinkles, that sort of thing that I can put on cookies and make to put on cookies, some pumpkins, um, and they'll store for quite some time in a covered container. I have a separate container here for more of them. Down here, I have another really cute box that I picked up at Michael's or AC Moore. At the moment, that contains um, a set of cookie cutters here that uh, I curated when I was asked to do some dinosaur cookies. Over here, I have a fabric bin. And this particular fabric bin, I really like it because it fits exactly the depth of my container. And um, on it, I've got a couple of magnetic um, name labels here from when I was a Wilton instructor. At the moment, in this particular container, I have some leftovers. Um, I've got the boxes from my Picos. I've got some extra royal icing boxes here. Um, and a couple other items. As you can see, my cats are really having fun with me spreading everything out today. Um, I may or may not have said this before, but this is really just my storage space. I don't decorate in this space, but I do store all of my items here. So I've got a lot of leftovers in here or extra items in here. Additionally, when you're deciding what to purchase, you may want to purchase additional items. Um, right now, if you go back to the store where I purchased these, they only have these bins in autumnal colors in yellows and orange and russet color um whereas i really like the green because it complemented my bookcase color um very nicely so i do strongly recommend you get some extras um and although we'll talk about these in a few moments i got some extras of uh, these other organizational systems and you need some extras of things. My next bin over contains my cutting mat here, my um, knife and extra blades. It contains a few more of these bins here, and it contains a few of my uh, sponges that I use for shaping fondant. And my next bin over contains a number of my other items, some uh, straws that I can cut down, wide straws I can cut down for stacking cakes, um, my gum paste flower drying rack, a bunch of my older uh, Wilton colors, and um, my dry colors, and then here um, a extra cutter for fondant cutting strips and all of my isomalt my semi isomalt um, and the items I need to work with that. So all of that is an additional bin. And the last thing on this bottom shelf is my beautiful, beautiful puzzle that I purchased uh, from Springbok here. This is designed by the cookie architect, Rebecca Wild. And it's a really fun set. This is my extra one. Um, I have another one that we have a lot of fun working on. Great, great puzzle. So I've got a number of items on this bottom shelf here. I've got a few other items here. Um, my fondant smoothers. Some people use these to iron the top of their cookies to make it nice and smooth. I can do another video one day on um, the making the perfect smooth cookie. And then I do also have two of my cookie decorating palettes here. These contain dried um, colors in here, food safe colors that I use to paint on cookies. Um, don't really know where exactly to store them yet. 
haven't decided at the moment. They just sort of sit atop some of these bins here, kind of awkwardly, but um, we can work that out together and you can always leave some suggestions as to where I might um, decide to store them. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is this top shelf here. I went with these Sterilite three drawer containers here. I'm gonna take one down and show you. The first item and the reason I went with these Sterilite containers is that they really nicely fit these little items on top here. Let me talk about these items on top. They are here, these organizers, probably originally intended for makeup products, nail polish, etc. They work beautifully in storing these cute little colors here, um, these sweet sticks colors, the little Americolor jars and bottles and that sort of thing and they sit really really nicely atop these so i purchased a number of these and i strongly recommend to people you purchase some extras because once again they may go out of style or become out of stock at your store and become difficult to get they were one dollar each so i got a couple extra these particular drawers here i ordered from Target and I got those in and they have three little drawers that pull out and they have a nice stop on them so they don't pull out too far but the nice thing is that you can squeeze the sides here and they'll come right out so you can bring your items to the table to work on your projects so in this particular one I have some extra paintbrushes I have some of my other extra colors in tubes and I have some extra brushes here and extra tips. So coming on over here, I've got my drawing items. Oh, I've got an extra elephant here from one of my um, latest projects. Um, here I've got my extra colored pencils for drawings. I've got my cake decorating tools, cookie decorating tools here and some extra scribes in this drawer. And I've got my extra spatulas up here. My next drawer over here has some of my edible dusts and glitters. My next drawer has some of my edible markers along with a lot more edible markers. Over here, I've got some name tags and the such for my cookie classes, a variety of my scissors and tools here. And then up here I have some of my pipettes, some of my extra special scribes. And my last drawer over here has um, a few nonprails in it, as well as some tags for labeling cookie cutters. It has one of my cookie turntables. Here I've got one of my Picos and the extra cords that go with that. And my last drawer up here has a lot of my cookie clips in it. And then as you can see, all along the top here, I've got all of my extra little teeny tiny bottles of my Americolors, sweet stacks, and other um, exciting things that fit beautifully in those containers. So the next thing I want to talk about is the side of my bookcase here. What I chose to do was to purchase some of these extra little containers here. I think they were a dollar each or uh, two for a dollar for the smaller ones, I believe. Or they might have even come uh, two each. Not really sure. Um, this one is a, let's see, this is a Jot Magnetic Box. Um, it's not, there you go. It focused in on that one for you. But the idea is here that I went to the Home Depot and I purchased a little strip of metal. Um, this strip of metal here is normally intended to go on the bottom of a door as a kick plate. So I've got one there and one underneath here. I simply covered it with some really nice paper uh, designed by the Pioneer woman. Redrummond here, some just plain contact paper. And then I drilled um, four small holes and put a screw that would hold it up here. And then the magnetic item simply stick to it here. So in these containers, I asked some of my things 
in these containers, I asked some of my friends what I should put in here, and they suggested I put a number of my cookie decorating tips in here, some of my couplers in here, I've got some of my bag closures in here, some more of my cookie cutter labels in here, and of course the, the cat is visiting as well. So I've got um, quite a few things in these containers and they stick really well. I've got some of my magnets here for stenciling. Um, and that way they're readily available. I can just grab one of these containers and take it with me um, when I need to go decorate. And it's a really handy out of the way storage for a number of items. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the bookshelf. I helped create a little organizational system to help corral some of the chaos of craft, cookie, and cake supplies. Enjoy, be safe, be well. Until next time, bye-bye.